All right, hello, hello. So, so many of the videos have been talking about paying attention to your health. So, um, I'm bringing in another one of the, the remedies. Uh, you know, I think they're good. Um, gut health, prebiotics in it, maca, ashwagandha, dates, cacao, almond milk, 16 grams of protein, 210 calories in this one, has 17 carbs, four fiber, nine sugar, 16 protein, eight grams of fat. So anyways, uh, I think these are good for you. <laughs> uh, you know, I like the little slogan of them. Normally I drink the Rebels, R-E-B-B-L. So these are new and I'm just, I enjoy it. Maybe, uh, you know, whatever for a snack, for a, it's just lighter. You know what I mean? Do you guys like in the middle of the day, like if I eat heavy, then I'm like sluggish. So I, I like to keep it light with like fruit or shakes and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's times when I eat a ton. I don't even know why I'm just rambling on about that. Okay. I'm going to make this quick. 117. Well, there's a, a note from someone. I don't know why I got to put the advertising in. <laughs> Aquarius energies. Hi, what's up? Communication is blocked. Yeah, I'm not able to upload these right now. It's taking forever. So I'm trying to keep them slower. So much the weirdest thing is though, a lot of the, the readings that I've done, I probably have like four that still aren't being uploaded. But it seems like it's moving into August, uh, August energy already. So it is only the 19th of July when I'm doing this video, but we might just call it August. Uranus, what's up? Air sign. So what's up, Aquarius? Let's see. Uh, this is that change, right? I wonder how it is being that. Like, if that's your, like, if you just learn how to flow with it, like, or you just come into people's lives and, and they they don't know how to uh, judge you, N not judge you, but how to um, read you. They don't know what to expect. 720 being spotlighted, so maybe we need, this will be uploaded tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see. So Aquarius energy, Uranus. I feel like this is the one that we're always like, I just wanna say you're an ass, <laughs> cause it makes me laugh, okay. Um, and I'm like the little kid or something because fifth house, um, Leo energy, right? That's where my Aquarius, I'm all, that's my Aquarius energy. Anyway, so then you got the online social networking, whatever. I got a whole bunch of piles. Maybe it'll be a little pick a pile. I'm looking under there. I see fire signs too. Maybe you're dealing with that cancer, cancer sign, no communication, Venus retrograde, so Venus in reverse, so not feeling beautiful, not communicating, Gemini Virgo, um, you know, that's the planets. Okay, air signs. <laughs> I got the mindful messages. I don't know why I did this. I shuffled these all, then I made little piles. Aren't they so cute? Uh, three, 39. I'm going to start with mindful messages. Okay, I got this little stack right here. I don't know if I'm going to give you all of these, okay? You're getting this first stack because you're the first ones. Air signs. Um, Aquarius, time for a recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. So recharge. So D, you know what I mean? Unplug from this type of stuff even. I mean, you have to do that. I just, it was hot outside, so I decided, I'm like, I'm coming back in to do a video. Magic, it's all about magic. Look at that, watch the magic. I think like Aquarius also got like, you know, with the other air signs, Gemini and Libra, but the, um, see the magic, feel the magic, let the magic in, invite the magic in. Tea leaves, I might grab a few tea leaves for that. All right, there is magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. 
it's way more fun that way. See, and it's like the star. I even see this as the Aquarius energy kind of, and there's Gemini because that's the magician, right? But hope, healing, believing, hopefulness, wishing, seeing, seeing the magic. Let's see what we can find. This is my, my own little creative magical venture here. My own energy even. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in need or in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Simply reach out a hand. It is up to them to do the rest. All right. So helping others, you don't have to take yourself clear deep in that muck of it and take on their emotions. And sometimes that can be hard, right? Sometimes it, I feel like there's a sense of wanting to like... Uh, it's an empathetic thing, right? To try and have empathy and understanding. All right, everyone's doing their best. There's some Virgo energy. There's some, uh, maybe even Sagittarius Aries. Personal journey. What is this journey? Together. Together. Okay, this is a big message. Doing your best, even regarding your health and fitness too, right? We are all doing our best with the understanding and awareness we have in this moment. Any decision I take is okay, no matter the outcome. I make the best of any situation and learn as I go along. Learning from mistakes or failures is, is key though. Key. New adventures today. I open myself up to new adventures Go out and do something I've been holding back from. I move through the fear rather than let it control me. Trust my intuition and follow my desires. So what are you what are you holding yourself back from? What are you waiting for? It's about releasing stuff, recharging, going outside. Today I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. I'm ready for transformation and welcome this shift. I'm creating space for a new chapter. Filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. Hmm. Right. Some Something new. This is a new chapter. Learning every day. Inspiration board. You can do it. Love. If I'm ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. I have been having fun experimenting with these other things too, but I also love just taking pictures of flowers and where I'm at right now, the flowers aren't so wazow. <laughs> of the sunset, sunrises haven't been pizzow, so I'm like, I'm fine at the pizzow. Do you know what I mean? I usually rollerblade, so this year's just different. I know I want to get back out there and do it, but this is about you and what you do, right? And I just throw out these fun ideas things I enjoy doing doesn't mean it's for you. I don't like like hiking or climbing too much or really swimming, but whatever. Together. I love working together with others and how it makes once impossible dreams possible. I see there is strength and unity and how much we can accomplish together. Asking for help is not weak. It is powerful. Wow. There you go. You don't have to do it all on your own, boss. <laughs> Personal journey, though. I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each our own journey, on our own journey, and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. Right? So this is also understanding, right? You can work together and people can help you. you but... You do, you, this isn't about like putting things out there and needing validation from others. Like I'm sharing this. I really like it. I'm happy with it. There's some that I really hate and, <laughs> and I like sharing beautiful things. It's not a gloaty thing. And I mean, yeah, it gets disappointing if you put something beautiful out and no one sees it, but it's more of that. Oh, I want people to see this, not just because it, it it was uplifting or beautiful, you know? I, and that's what I like to do. 
for me to put out in the world. But don't get me wrong. These cards have sometimes they have a way of really scolding me when I'm getting out of line <laughs> and getting kind of angry. The, the, the whole bitterness and forgiveness stuff, right? The guidance system. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or how far away I am from what I want. When I'm feeling joy and doing the things I love, I'm in a state of allowing. I notice when I'm feeling low, I'm just gonna say when that's, when you're being angry, bitter, resentful, hateful, woe is me, so, you know, I almost said, you know, you understand when you feel really small or you wanna hurt others <laughs> with your mouth or whatever. And I understand, that's what I'm saying. And sometimes it's always like, like seriously, the Libra one, it was like, oh, you know, let that shit go, be the bigger person. I'm like, oh, I know, I know, but I'm human, right? I'm human, rag and bone, human. There's your song. Anyways, homes, the homes. Okay, what time is it? 11.23. So we started with mindful messages, okay, Aquarius, together. Maybe someone doesn't expect this. This is unexpected. 720 really being spotlighted, 789. 789. Huh? Why was six afraid of seven? Because 789. There's your joke. Laugh a little. This is about work, right? Though, and having um, abundance that you have extra. This is working with teams. Um, creating jobs, everybody working, taking on a big project that you might invest in, but also there's a payout for more than one person. It's just not about you. This gives money and work for others and creating something hopefully that is needed and necessary and worth value in the world. Feeling unblocked, unblocking things. Maybe if you were blocked at one time about creating or investing, having extra cash, maybe Hmm, we've got Sagittarius and probably some Capricorn energy here. Seven, nine though, 79, a Cancer energy too. Maybe something got unblocked during that time frame. I'm gonna shuffle and just give a quick message for specifically Aquarius. So air signs been getting a lot lately. Um, fire signs, Capricorn, I'm just, um, Throwing out the, making sure I'm like hitting all the different signs. Anyways, we'll see. I just like pulling it this way. When I do a monthly, usually I'll start it with the birthday month. So Leo's and then flow through. So that should look forward to those. I mean, you might be getting this also in August or something, whatever. Or it might be relevant during that time. Six of Wands. Lovely. So going outside, feeling really victorious. Victorious. Putting on your confidence, your Wonder Woman pose. <laughs> or Superman, whatever. Look, what? Aquarius, your cards are reversed. That doesn't make sense. Someone's not seeing the magic. Not feeling like a star. Not like you shine. That's This is contradictory. A Virgo energy. Someone's still in hermit mode. So some of you dealing with a Virgo Aquarius. That's so weird. Why does this keep coming up? A Virgo. Going into Virgo mode. I'm just going to flow them through. The magic. I'm seeing the soulmate. No, a party. A get together. Your own energy though. Okay, so you might, there might be someone who is feeling hope, hopeless. Someone trying to go going in trying to get enlightened you know what i mean or just take time trying to separate themselves this could be you even trying to separate yourself from others and just like taking time alone studying you see shining a light learning new things journaling even drawing writing creating brainstorming All right.
this is a get together or a party. So it, it's kind of, like I said, all this is contradictory. Like there's a party here. You know that, that song by Cage of the Elephant, the social cues or something? It's like he, someone stays in their own room during a celebration and get together a party, gets away from the noise, doesn't want to be part of, doesn't want to be seen. It's like a celebration for them even, but someone doesn't feel it like they found it or something. Weird. Synchronicities. Uh, Sag someone doesn't have moderation, so I'm pulling up the Sagittarius energies on this new adventure even. Not feeling like um, this is needing to take, I feel like someone could be drinking because there's this party get together. A reconciliation, reunion, whatever. It's a celebration, there's multiple people there. Having a chit chat, having a little tea. Looks like there might have been a little bit something in the tea though. <laughs> Cause everything's blurry. B blurry face, what's that song? Hello, they call me Blurry Face. Not like 21 Pilots. This is in reverse, so not feeling stable for this new adventure even. Why is Sagittarius energy been coming in reverse a lot lately? Oh, not feeling love. This is about releasing things. Like there's a woe is me type thing. Someone, even your physical appearance, how you're feeling. Huh. Creating space, letting go of things that are out of alignment. Things that don't fulfill you with love. Things that are empty. It's really interesting because the release is letting go of things too and emotions. Emptying the cup out. Whoa. And some of it is dealing with toxic stuff. Drinking even. Like... Something was controlling, someone could be controlling, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or something that's just scary. Like this is an addiction with this. Someone Huh. 915. Virgo. Wow, I say 915 Virgo, and some of you it's a masculine Virgo, because underneath there was King of Coins no longer having sleepless nights or they're just like there was a time of like staying up really late right studying trying to have discernment that they're with their finances even studying it and now they're like con trying to control the finances with fear it's like they love the money more or the drug or the drink or whatever what is this what what is this this is some crazy stuff right here. 1805. All right. Can't go on too much longer with this type of crap. That's for sure. Got to release that. All right. Let's move it forward. Someone is not taking this time away. You need, you need to go out into nature and get connected, grounded. There's Virgo energy here. So Virgo, Sagittarius, not connected, not having moderation. There could be heavy indulgence with stuff or there's not... There's not moderation happening. There's not a connection. There's bad karma. Oh, bad. <laughs> bad fortune. They're in a woe is me down cycle. Or you are. Needing an inspiration board to lift you up. You can do it. Ice cube, you can do it. Put your back into it. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Too cold, too cold. Vanilla. <laughs> all right, love. I'm seeing all the journaling, inspiration, brainstorming. You know what I mean? Fight. You gotta find those things that bring you joy and happiness and goals or something you desire to help you. It's get it all out of your head. Write it down. Make a vision board of it. Something like that. In your head, zombie, zombie. You can work together. Then you can, you know, find people who, you know, want to, who have the same vision, right? Working with others who, it makes once pos impossible dreams possible. See, sometimes other people have a, a key or they have a different perspective. They have something. I mean, think about it. Most of the time you cannot buy a house without 
getting a loan or something from a bank, you have to, so there's still even a connection, but knowing certain people that can help along the way too. You know, I was thinking about this with building a business, you're making it the, the next level when you really think about this, from being an entrepreneur to the next level, it's not you alone. You cannot do it alone. You know, there has to be team effort to expand and grow. And you need good people too. Happiness, love, family. So this is who? Family is going to help. Surrounding, being surrounded by people who love you, care about you. Friends, family, the otters, right? The heart. Look, I like this. So Aquarius, maybe you didn't expect this type of support or from them or they, they also have these type of dreams or aspirations or something like that and asking them for help is isn't um a weakness it shows power of trust right it builds a trust thing too i like how their arms are interlocked linked it's like makes me think of the taurus energy and that we're in this together <laughs> try to register nine inch nails okay i like this so far okay just a few more um, some of you might have Sagittarius as a moon energy, or Taurus even. Um, Virgo seems really spotlighted too, like, whatever. Okay, maybe that's about who's at the party even. We got a Taurus, Virgo, multiple Virgos. The world, no way. The completion. Wait, is that 21? 521? Mm, the, the cusp, Gemini season. Taurus, Gemini. Oh, the eight and then the eight, eight, eight. So even, um, maybe you'll, this completion for, will be, or seeing a brand new world. This is the vision, right? In the cave of wonders about work, uh, maybe a brand new bot. Oh, the emperor's in reverse. So trusting your, your guidance system. So if you're dealing with a boss, this could be that Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, um, maybe it's even you, Aquarius, because there's air sign, but if you're masculine, this boss is in reverse. So trusting that guidance system when you're out of whack. If you're see, if the boss is hates is always angry, he hates what he's doing. He's off his rocker. He's angry about something. There's three there. One, two, three. Maybe about someone. Hmm. Or this is check yourself, right? For you wreck yourself, Ice Cube. <laughs> I don't know why you get Ice Cube what you do. Okay. Okay. Personal journey. Eight of coins. And then the Emperor in reverse. So I'm saying this is, I put it by this trusting your guidance, dude. How many cards did I get? That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's it. Ten. And I'm just stopping that at 10 because that's like the completion. And um, so that's how you, you know, you just trust your, your, this is trusting your inner navigation. So this boss energy, this in reverse, it might have to do with the emotions of it. Maybe some of you have an Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Moon even, or you're dealing with a boss like this, or it's pay attention to yourself. Um... And if you are, stick around because I feel guided to. I'm going to pull information on the moons with the those messages, spirit animals, Jody Bergsma's magical times. But because this is getting long, I'm going to end it. Um, wow. Pretty crazy. I like it though. Okay, bye-bye.